Thank you for logging into GrowX. My name is Carlos and I'm here with Jonathan from Grow Technology. Hello. And he's here to quickly explain to us how to, how to calibrate a pH meter. Okay, so we've got the Blue, uh, Blue Lab pH meter. All of uh, Blue Lab's products calibrate exactly the same. Um, it's a two-stage calibration. So what we do is we calibrate to seven and then we calibrate to four. And it just means that we've got the most accurate reading possible, basically. From two points, basically, okay. So first of all, what we do, we put it in the green solution. Green is always seven. So in it goes. And then we just wait for the reading to go up to somewhere near seven. It doesn't have to be bang on seven because you're telling it where, where seven is on the scale. Mm -hmm. So six, seven. Stabbed at 6 .7. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we just hold down and calibrate. Okay. And it will go cal pH seven. And then at the bottom there, it says seven, pH seven. Mm -hmm. And then it's telling you, it's flashing now four, so it's telling you to calibrate it to four. As okay, well. so the next one will be four. Yep. So we, do you want to rinse with the Yeah, okay. we rinse it off in some water just so we don't cross contaminate it. And we put it into four. Now you've told it where seven is, mm -hmm. obviously it should hit four, we're hoping. Fairly close. Yeah. But it's all about patience. So we just leave it in there and let it let it drop down. It'll drop down slowly, but it'll get it takes time. Okay. Got four point one. And this, would this procedure be the same for a combo meter? Or for it's exactly the same, yeah. Okay. And we always calibrate them to two points, mm -hmm. just so they're... And, and also, after 30 days, mm -hmm. these are going to disappear. And what they're telling you is, recalibrate them. Clean meat, oh, okay. Clean me and recalibrate me. So. That's a notification now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just hold down okay, calibrate. Okay. So 4.1. And then we go, set it up. Got it. it. So we're ready to rock and roll. Do a quick rinse. So there you go. That's ready to go. Thirty days. Mm -hmm. uh, clean it. Recalibrate it. If you ever disconnect the pH probe from mm -hmm. the meter itself, you'll need to uh, ah. you'll need to recalibrate it again. Also, so. excellent. Or when you change batteries, perhaps. Yeah, when you change batteries. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for explaining that. No worries, man. It's simple. And this is the Blue Lab pH meter from Growth Technology.